guys, it's Two Profit Games or Adam. Welcome back to some more Black Ops 3 Zombies and ranking up in Black Ops 3 Zombies. What's better, solo or co-op? This is a question I get. Not too much, but it is something I definitely do want to go over because both solo and co-op have their advantages for ranking up quickly and they also have their disadvantages. So in today's video, we're gonna kind of go over the pros and cons of ranking up fast in solo and co-op and see which one is better. So I wanna start off by talking about co-op and we're gonna start off by talking about the positives of ranking up quickly in co-op versus solo, right? So in co-op, you get more kills and there's no denying that. Now it depends on how many players you're playing with. Uh, with two players, of course, you're gonna have more kills in solo. With three players, you're gonna have more kills than uh, two player and same thing with four player. So you're going to get a lot more kills. There'll be a lot more zombies per round. You'll definitely see that in the 30s and the 40s, the rounds are a lot longer than when playing solo. So, you know, if you really want to get a ton of kills, you know, p going co the co-op route is the way to go. Uh, and it'd be also really cool if, if one of your friends just didn't care or who you're playing with, um, they just don't do anything and you can just rack up a ton of kills. So more kills in co-op, more kills equals more XP. Also, you can, I guess, kind of go to higher rounds because with solo, you only have a certain amount of downs. With, with co-op, you can down, you know, as many times as you want. As long as someone revives you, you're good. And you can definitely go to higher rounds in co-op. Probably two-player would be ideal for trying to rank up fast in co-op. But you could go to much higher rounds because quick revives really don't matter. And you can also replace that quick revive with a different perk if you wanted to. You don't have to have quick revive all the time like you do have to have in solo. So for the negatives for ranking up fast in co-op, the first thing that I have is it's gonna take a lot longer and you guys heard me just talk about this. Going to higher rounds, definitely easier because you your partner can revive you, but it's gonna take like double the time because you have double the zombies or quadruple the zombies depending on how many players you're playing with. For example, let's just say you're playing, it's, it's a two player game, okay? You're gonna have double the zombies, all right? So it's gonna take a lot longer. Like going from rounds one to 30 in four player takes forever, right? Because you have four players. Two player, not too bad. Solo, it's relatively quick. So the more players you have, the longer it's going to take. Another negative I have, you have to split the kills. And this could kind of be a positive, but at the same time, it can be a negative. Now, let me just talk about the positives of this real quick, okay? Um, for splitting the kills, I've tested this out. If you're playing uh, two players and you're on round 30 and you split the kills evenly, you should have more kills than you would have on round 30 in solo. That's just the way it works. And there are some games um, where I'm playing with one of my friends uh, or someone, whoever I'm playing with. Um, I have like 1,300 kills or something on round 30 and they have like 500 or, or like 600. They have a really low amount of kills. Now, if you're the one getting the majority of the kills, great, you know, you're, you're laughing. But if you don't, then you're kind of screwed and you're really not getting a lot of XP. But uh, this is kind of both a positive and a negative. You're gonna have more kills, and I talked about that again in the positives, but then again, you might not have as many kills as you would in solo. It just depends on the situation and who you're playing with. Uh, and the last thing that I have is you can't pause the game. And this kind of sucks because it takes a lot longer, like I said. So going for like five, if you want to get to those higher rounds, guys, and you really want to get XP, five hours, four hours non-stop, I don't know if really that's the funnest thing in the world to do. When I go for higher rounds in solo, or I XP grind in solo, I'm pausing the game constantly. Like, I'll start a game in the morning, 
I'll go to like round 40, I'll pause the game, I'll come back, do another 10 rounds, pause the game, go do something, pause the game, go out, come back, unpause it, play again, you know, I pause the game a lot, but then again, when you're playing co-op, you know, you're talking to other people, so it's not as bad as playing solo and sitting there just looking at the screen, so those are some positives and some negatives for playing co-op, and guys, I definitely do XP grinding a lot in co-op. Um, I'm going to talk about the about solo in just a second here, but I do got XP grind in co-op and there are definitely some advantages of it, especially playing on a map like the giant, you know, headshot grinding, like that's something I definitely recommend doing. But let's talk about solo and then we will decide which one is better. So let's talk about the positives for co-op, okay? The first thing that I have is you can pause the game. And I literally just talked about this, so I really don't want to talk about it that much. Pause the game, it's nice. You can take breaks. We all like that, okay? Um, the second thing, the games are a lot faster. And this is incredibly important when it comes to ranking up fast. Because it, when you play co-op, it, it can suck if you're not Master Prestige. Because... If you're playing a game and you're, you haven't hit that Master Prestige rank yet, once you hit level 35, you don't want to be in the game anymore. You want to end the game and you want to Prestige and then go back into it. But there are times where, you know, you you hit Master Prestige and then your friend is like a couple levels off and you're like, okay, we'll wait for him. But then again, you're getting a whole bunch of kills and it's really not doing anything for you. When you're playing solo, you can end the game as soon as you hit level 35. You can go out, prestige, and then jump back into a game. So having those faster games is sometimes is really nice. But if you're already master prestige, that really doesn't matter at all. But sometimes it is nice to have faster games instead of having to play a whole bunch of... Uh, non-stop zombies in the day. It's nice to have games you can, you know, do relatively quickly, okay? Uh, the last thing that I have is you don't have to worry about anybody else, and this is a huge reason why I play so much solo, is you don't have to worry if someone else goes down or where they are or can you revive them. You know, you don't want to let them die because you don't want them to lose all of their weapons and their perks and all that stuff. With solo, it's just you. And if you're down, you're down. Whatever. You know, you only have to worry about yourself. And sometimes in zombies, that's nice. You don't really have to worry about anybody else and what they're doing. You just focus on whatever you're doing and going for your high rounds, getting your XP. So uh, that is definitely a huge positive as well. So the negatives for solo. First thing right off the bat, believe me when I say this, it can get a little boring. <laughs> just, if you're just playing by yourself, you know, a lot of the times when I'm playing by myself, I'll talk to some of my friends on Skype. Um, but if you're just sitting there playing by yourself, playing solo, it can get a tad boring, especially if you're going for those really high rounds. And again, having those faster games helps a little bit with this, but it just can get really boring sitting there just doing the same thing over and over and over again. You know, uh, that's why I said playing the giant, I prefer playing that co-op because you're pretty much doing the same thing solo and, and co-op, right? You're just camping on the catwalk, you're camping somewhere, and it's kind of nice to have someone to talk to and just, you know, it, it kind of distracts you a little bit instead of just sitting there and, and just shooting in a straight line the entire time. It does get boring, so playing co-op sometimes is definitely nice. Um, and the last thing is uh, you're not going to have as many kills as you would in, in co-op. And there's nothing you can really do about that. Like, there's no matter what you do, you're not going to have as many kills. Again, you know, on round 40, around 30 in co-op, you split the kills. You're going to have more kills in co-op than you will in solo. That's just how it works, unfortunately. Um, but again, going back to the faster games, it all depends on really what you want to do. Now, which mode is better for ranking up fast in Black Ops 3 Zombies? I think a lot of you are expecting me just to come out there and say solo, but really guys, it depends on you. Now, personally, I prefer playing zombie solo. That's just what I like doing. And a huge reason why is because of the pause feature. I kid you not, because... I just cannot play a game for like four hours straight, five hours straight. 
I've done it before, but I don't like doing that regularly. I just, I just can't do it. I, I even when I, when I live stream, you know, stream for two hours straight, that's a long time for me. I like to get up and I like to do something and then come back. I just can't sit down for like two, three hours straight. It just drives me crazy. I want to stand up and do something. So me because I can pause in solo, that makes things a lot easier and it makes ranking up in zombies uh, a lot easier and uh, a little more enjoyable. But then there are some times where I really enjoy playing co-op as well. And that also depends on the map that I'm playing. But if I had to pick one mode for ranking up fast in zombies, I would definitely recommend playing solo, right? You know, doing that Eyes and Draco strategy on solo. I've tried doing that strategy co-op, it just doesn't work. If you want to rank up fast in Black Ops 3 Zombies, I'd recommend trying to play solo, or I recommend playing solo until you hit Master Prestige, and then after that, you can really do whatever the hell you want. So, anyways, guys, that is all for now. If you enjoyed this video, like always, make sure to leave it a thumbs up, and let me know in the comment section below what do you like for ranking up fast in Black Ops 3 Zombies. Do you play more solo, or you do you play more co-op? Let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.